Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. All right, so we have a review today. And uh, this review is... Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my video. We have a review today. And um, it's not a sponsored video. They shipped this out for me for free. My opinions on this, like all my videos, is 100% my opinions, good or bad, on anything that I review. Um, if you guys have this, definitely like drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know um, how you guys like this. This is the uh, C Reader Professional Launch CRP123. I believe with taxes, it goes for around 150 on um, Amazon. You might be able to get it. I don't know. You might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else. But on Amazon, uh, I, I noticed that Amazon has the best delivery service and, and all that stuff. But CRP123 is designed for technicians to diagnose engine, transmission, ABS, airbags, SRS systems, features, intuitive interface, reports, the latest OBD2 uh, test modes, 1 of 10, graph, record, record, and playback, crucial, um, blah, blah, blah. Support for all 10 test modes of OBD2, read and clear codes, and obviously uh, reads and clears codes and read streams on engine, transmission, ABS, airbags, systems. Um, obviously, this is not specific for any vehicle. This is essentially uh, an OBD2 for... Um, pretty much all vehicles with an OBD2 port. And I don't know if it goes specifically into certain Okay, this is this is all the systems that it reads, all right? Which is pretty which is pretty uh thorough. Re reads and clears codes on engine transmission, ABS, airbags, system supports all 10 test modes, auto module search, enhanced OBD2 mode six. Not quite sure what that is. Supports vehicles 96 in uh, newer, retrieves generic PO manufacturer codes, both permanent and pending, read and clear, and uh, 3.5 display. All right, like I said, guys, obviously, it's a very sunny day out there. Um, I like the way this looks, but let's open it up and uh, see what, uh, what we get from this. It's $150. It looks like um, a pretty, one of those uh, pretty decently priced OBD2 scanners. But um, we're going to plug it in. We're going to do a review, unboxing, all that good stuff. If you guys have this, drop a comment in the comment section. Also, if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. All that good stuff. But let's uh, get into this. This is a first opening of this. And this is what you uh, get. All right. So what we do get is uh, a big uh, OBD2 uh, cable that... that what what is this called? If you guys know what this is called, um, normally uh, what, normally it's plugged in. Um, what am I saying? But um, uh, this has a U, um, USB USB cable, but the old type USB. But uh, aside from that, you get this, and obviously you're gonna get instructions on the bottom. And get instructions from the bottom, which I normally don't read anyway. Let's see what it has on the bottom. Instructions, launch instructions, uh, C reader, and uh, well, while we're taking this out anyway, so let's um, let's see what we get. What do you guys think of this? I know, I know, some of you guys already have this, and you guys are. Checking out for reviews and stuff right like that register and update All that stuff I normally don't go into uh, Any of that stuff, but it actually does come with a uh, memory card USB memory does it come with a? it doesn't come with a memory card, but it comes with a memory stick Which is good, which is good And uh, this is what it looks like I mean, it's not huge. You got your uh, LED for for on. You got your don't know what that is, but obviously you got your buttons on here, up, down, all those buttons. Okay, escape. I don't know what page view is, but obviously if you guys look at this, uh, don't not quite sure what that is either, but. 
I mean, it's not at all heavy. You got your computer socket. That's what I'm calling it, a computer socket. And um, that's pretty much it. It has a um, a cover, a skin for it. Supports OBD2 functions, DTC repair, help display of data stream. Like, we're going we're gonna to try to figure out, like, how in-depth these OBD2 scanners are. Obviously, you guys know, like, these OBD2 scanners range from anywhere from, like, oh, I don't know, 20 bucks for some cheapo OBD2 scanners all the way to, like, six, seven thousand dollars Um, This is, like, 150 so it probably does um, a lot more than your cheaper OBD2 scanners, but I'm not thinking that it goes specifically into certain systems if you guys have... Um, advanced systems on your vehicles like um, I don't know anywhere from like Toyota's tech screen text uh, uh, tech stream to maybe um, BMWs and Audis and all that stuff with their very very intricate um, uh, OBD2 um, can systems but let's see what this does we're gonna plug this in um, we're gonna plug this in it, it seems to be pretty simple all right we're gonna plug this in all right, guys, so pretty easy plug-in. We're going to remove this. I got to tell you, uh, on something like this, I'm almost guessing that um, uh, uh, these kinds of wiring where you got to plug it in like that is probably... What's the word I'm trying to say? Um, it's just probably for appearance. You, they could probably just have like um, a line with a, um, I don't know, a, a normal socket and plug it in. But anyway... What am I saying? Let me just plug this in. We're gonna see what 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 it what it's like. But you know, I, I like the fact that it actually looks like one of those expensive OBD2 scan. All right, guys. So I plugged it in. Again, it goes to a couple of screens. It says that it's starting TF card, and this is the first screen. Uh, this is like the third screen that it goes to. The other screens are just automatic screens. Tell you what it's doing at the time, and. I mean, the interface looks extremely, extremely simple. So let's uh, just go one by one, see what happens. As you guys can see, the red light is on. I don't know what it is. I don't like the fact that it's very sunny out, but all right, let's just diagnose. You can do an OBD2 scan, uh, OBD2, uh, and then what is this scan? And then and then a review, but let's uh, let's do this one by one. So it's actually entering the system, and uh, okay. So it says readiness completed eight, readiness not completed zero, readiness not supported two, data stream support thirty seven. Uh, let's see what it does. And uh, outside of that, it gives you a general reading of uh, if you guys have any issues with your vehicles, check engine line stuff like that. But uh, see, okay. Uh, so it, it takes you into um, the generic uh, menu that you would have, like any other uh, OBD2 scanner. You can read codes, see what it, what it reads. I don't know what this is. The vehicle has no four codes. That's great. Uh, erase codes. I am, I am readiness. Okay. Can you guys see this? It's so sunny out. Uh, since DTT were cleared, this drive cycle uh, misfire monitor. But I don't know what this is. But it actually does. It, it's actually complete. Uh, but I just bought this car, guys. I just bought this Infinity. I really don't want to do anything to mess up whatever it is. Cause I gotta get inspected. But data stream. What is this data stream? And uh, view all items. Hence, get supported data streaming. A uh, few system uh, two status, few system one status, calculated load value. Now I'll tell you guys what I don't actually uh, read. I don't actually like to read live stream data. I'm not one of those people who are really big into live stream data, but it actually does give you um, engine coolant temperature. It actually does give you engine coolant temperature. Can you actually press OK with that? Calculated load value system one to uh, all databases short term few. I don't know what that is. Select and then confirm. So basically, you can you can actually just select and then escape to confirm, uh, and it actually gives you uh, the uh, 
Let me see if it actually gives you the transmission temperature because uh, these Infinities, if you ever needed to uh, change out the transmission fluid, um, you need to do it at a certain temperature. All data, stream off page, and uh, press escape. View system one status clears to the. Do, 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 do. I'm going to do escape, select, and uh, view system, view system calculator, load value, engine cooling temperature, all database. Uh, off page short term view uh, engine RPM vehicle speed or the ignition timing advance for s number one cylinder airflow rate mass see what this does uh, and uh, you absolute throttle position oxygen uh, or database short term fuel trim OBD2 requirements time sense engine start distance travel while um, in the equivalent ratio oxygen command evaporated fuel level uh, number of warm-ups, distance traveled since DCC is cleared, EVAP, barometer, uh, callus, temperature, control, fuel, error. Now, if you guys, uh, it actually gives you so much information, guys. Command, throttle, actuator, engine runtime. But I actually do not see. All right, so I, I checked that. It gives you what the, um, the reading of the master airflow sensor at this moment. Can you guys see this? I'm hoping you guys can see this. It's so sunny out today. But, but um, let's go on. Freeze frame data, O2 sensor testing, onboard monitor, EVAP system test. All right, so are you sure you want to exit? I'm going to press OK. All right, what is this scan doing? So basically, it gives you a specific scan on your vehicle. Mine is an Infinity that I just current, that I recently bought. Let's see if it actually... Um, it's an automatic see what it does see see if it gives me specific information or specific systems on um, so um it, it diagnosed process engine please wait it gives you a diagnosis of the engine read fault data version information read current data there's no there's no there's nothing on here so if you guys um, have any issues with uh, clear diagnostic codes, um, no, I don't want to clear it because I gotta get inspected. Read current data, uh, ECU input signal, select from menu, and what is this? It goes there. Uh, it goes all en engine speed, mass, MAS, airflow sensor, coolant temperature, AF sense, uh, vehicle speed, B fuel, like. Okay, so I don't know what these abbreviations mean. Air conditioning signal, load signal, ignition timing, uh, ignition, fuel level, heater fan, battery voltage. Let's see what battery voltage is. And uh, confirm uh, 14. Well, that's good. Fuel level. Heater fan, battery voltage, uh, or destination, fuel temperature, EVAP system, start signal, break, SW, uh, post value, mass airflow sensor, purge volume, or destination, fuel pump relay. So, um, this is awesome because it actually does give you a thorough readout of your specific vehicle and, uh, uh, specific systems in your vehicle. This vehicle did have the turbo changed out recently. Um, I'm actually like it, it, it goes, uh, it follows the al uh, alphabet. I think it follows the alphabet. So that's A, B, C, D. No, it doesn't actually. Uh, I thought it did, but all, all, all data stream off the page, it doesn't. But anyway, regardless. Um, what am I talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? And airbag. See what? Uh, current. See what this does. Nope. There's no four codes. Clear diagnostic. No, I don't want to clear any diagnostic on because I got to get this inspected with all signals. Um. Oh, seat belt, seat belt, seat belt. So, if you guys have newer vehicles, if you guys have newer vehicles, 
it even gives you the seat position. I don't know if it, it, I don't know if you guys can actually do anything with that. But if you guys have new vehicles, I mean, uh, let's see what the review is. Um, so it, it, I think if you I, I think if you guys actually review data stream, there's no record. Um, oh, I think this is the record button. If you want to record something, that you can actually use this to uh, record it. I think that's what that button is for. But anyway, it doesn't give you more than that. But it's uh, it's a pretty uh, thorough scan of um, all the systems in your vehicle. Um, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. You guys know why I'm gonna give it a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because for 150, um, these these um, OBD2 uh, could go. Uh, you know, they they the the very they they could go as far as price is concerned up to the thousands of dollars and it gives you a pretty uh, good readout of your um, system and um, that's pretty much the review of it um, for 150 um, from what I'm looking at it gives you a really thorough readout of the system now I didn't actually get to the point where I saw anything about the um, temperature the um, at the transmission coolant temperature the transmission fluid temperature but i'm pretty sure it'll 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 work but uh, i'm pretty sure it's in there somewhere i just gotta i just i just gotta look for it i just gotta look for it you guys want to stay with me to look for it because there's a lot of abbreviations and stuff like that i might just have to look at let me see what automatic and manual select let me see engine what's it at's automatic transmission is that what it that is, is that what it, what it is Version information, ECU part, and okay. I'm gonna press okay. Read current data. What is uh, what is it? Read current data, but um, the input speed sensor. See, uh, it's all abbreviated and ATF temperature sensor. This is an automatic AT. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, and then press escape to confirm. No, that's not the temperature. Um, so I got I gotta look it up what the abbreviation is, but engine speed. Um. Anyway, um, if you guys have fluid temperature, what's this? Fluid temperature 85 degrees Celsius. I don't really know what that is, but anyway, let me just stop yapping. Um, if you guys have this, um, I'm gonna put a link. Oh, if you guys have this, like, drop a comment in the comment section. Let us know whether this is a decent deal or not. But I'm gonna drop a link in the comment section, in the description section, and um, probably like a, a top ten of the um, of the best value, least expensive, best value OBD2 scanners, probably. But anyway, if you guys like this, leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe, please give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Appreciate your time. All right, guys, take care.